soap. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Gypsy Fay Creations. Tiara here, and I'm going to reminisce a little bit in this video, but let me just tell you what I'm doing. I am doing a ocean themed soap today for summer. And I'm just going to get started with the top of the soap. I know, unusual, not usually how I start, but I want to start with the top and then let that sit so when I get back to it, it'll be ready. You'll see. All right. Yes, dear. <coughs> I'm trying to work here, Bradley. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, so the top is going to be the sand, and it's a little backwards than what a lot of people do or would think. Um, it'll come together. So I just put like the tiniest bit of bronze brown in here because I want sand, not dirt. Kind of like that. All right. So I'm going to set this to the side and work on the base of the soap. Bless you. Of my fragrance in this little special blend that I came up with. It's kind of fruity and beachy. Be here forever. Majority of this is for the, the base, but just just a little fragrance in the top. happy that I didn't get this very dark. Perfect sand color. <clears throat> okay, so now for the bottom. Same thing. So I'm going for a ocean wave like design here. I kind of messed around with this in a shower favor video. And so it's it's like it's like a larger version of that maybe, we'll say. Or better, because I was I wasn't ex exactly proud of those wedding shower favors. So let's see if I can improve it. <clears throat> In this little guy here, I had some titanium dioxide. And in this guy here, I'm gonna put in some mermaid blue mica. Like that. And I'm gonna try this first. Working with like the tiniest little container here. <clears throat> and then I don't care if some of this titanium dioxide goes into this big batter, because I don't want bold colors. I want to go for like, I don't know, a pastel, and that's because of my embeds here. I went really light on them, and so I don't want the rest of the soap to look like it doesn't match. So it's all right. So the idea for this soap came to me a year ago. <laughs> when I first started soaping, I wanted to do this ocean theme. And I ordered some molds off of Etsy and the fragrances. And I had the fragrances, the molds never showed up. I think they got lost in the travels from China. And when I finally got them, it was like three months later. And summer's kind of at the end at that point. So there was no point in making it. I've held on to this idea for a whole year. And it's, it's kind of like reminiscing because I've come a long way since this soap. And I'm going back to an original idea that I had, in my opinion, a very long time ago. 
add my fragrance to this guy. And to this guy. <clears throat> Hello, Bradley. Actually, let's bring you in for a closer look. There's also another soap that I'll probably be doing after this that I also planned to do last year and didn't get to do because of the molds. So that was like a pineapple-y scent. All right, and then I'm going to add this white to the bowl of what's left of the blue and just kind of do a little in the pot squir squirrel, a squirrel in the pot swirl and pour in the rest of it. So I'm working backwards, I suppose, and having the sand on the bottom and the water on top. I'm doing the water on the bottom and the sand on top because I want the embeds to look like they're sitting on a beach, if you know what I mean. All right, get that a little swirly and pour it in. And not make a mess. I was going through some old photos yesterday and I'm going to have to share them with you guys so you can see where all the soapy starts, all the soapy fun started with me. Kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Not really. I think it was a good attempt, but I'll explain. Um, I've always been obsessed with smelly things, like perfumes and lotions. That's what the smelly things I'm referring to, not just anything smelly. And I've been a part of different groups that like to talk about smelly things. A few years ago, I was a part of a, a group that was like, I can't Indie Scent Island or something, kind of a little private group that you could have joined on uh, Facebook. And everyone would post, you know, hauls of things that they bought and, and their stashes and share sales and review different companies. A lot of like hand handmade companies that made soap we would all buy from. And talk about and then once or twice a year we would kind of pick names like a secret Santa I guess and everyone would fill out like a little questionnaire and you would get someone's name and you would have to send them a box of surprise goodies that you think they would like but it had to be I guess indie products, not something you'd go to Walgreens and buy out of a drugstore like Revlon. It, it would have to be like an, a handmade based product. And I always had a lot of fun with that because there were just so many companies out there that I liked. Um, let's see if I can name a few. Solstice Sense is my favorite. There's Mona Lisa. Uh, I'm just drawing a blank. It's been so long. Oh, um. House of Glory was another of my favorites. So I had this huge stash of fragrances and lotions and lip scrubs. And that, that group no longer is a thing anymore. It's actually closed down. So then I, I felt the need to, I guess, try and make my own soap one time. And I found some pictures of the first soap that I ever made. And I'm going to share that with you guys. It was a, a lavender soap. And I don't even remember ever using it or where I got the recipe from or what fragrance. I guess I just used the lavender essential, essential oil in it. And I don't know why I never made more soap after that. I think I tried one or two more times, but it was never something that I was like, oh my God, this is so awesome. Look how this turned out. I love the soap. I'm gonna keep doing it. And it's kind of a dream in my head <laughs> of making that soap. I don't ever remember making it, but I have pictures of it I did, so. Right, I was really hoping this top part would be a little more set up by now, and it's not. 
So I'm gonna let it chill out for a moment. All right, I'm gonna try this topping here. I wanna share with you though my my butterbeer soap. I am so, so sad about it that it's starting to turn brown even though I used a vanilla color stabilizer. I guess it had like too much of a percentage that it just couldn't be touched. And I was hoping that maybe just some of it would turn to dark brown and like the other parts would stay yellow. It's continuing to change. So I might end up with just like a brown bar and I'm going to probably change the fragrance next time I use it. I'm just so sad about it. I was so proud of that soap and I have like two loaves of it, which is fine. It's still cool. It's still Harry Potter soap. It still smells really good. It's just not what I was going for. And I think this is still a little too runny, but I'm going to try. Anyway, I love that I get to share this with you guys. I get to put videos and, and pictures and, and everything, share with you my life on these videos because you know I'm not I'm not that interesting I'm really not <laughs> but some people just love to listen and love to comment and I love sharing so first loaf of soap I ever made was in 2013 I went from someone who was obsessed with bath and body products to somebody who is obsessed with making bath and body products and I couldn't be happier. I don't think this is gonna set up fast enough. And I'm just gonna make a mess. <clears throat> I'm like working up a sweat over here. <laughs> right. We had another late night. I feel like I always need a weekend for my weekends. They're always crazy, insane, busy. And if I don't squeeze in a loaf of soap on the weekend, I am not a very happy camper. <laughs> so when I get done this, I have other plans. We went to a wedding last night and it was about an hour, hour and a half away and we didn't get home to two o'clock in the morning. And now we're off to, with other friends to go to like a museum and dinner. So my weekends are always crazy but I'm sorry, soap comes first. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna try to mess with this with a spoon. disaster right now. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna let it sit a little more. Not even gonna attempt that yet. <clears throat> Alright, I'm getting impatient. <laughs> so I'm just kind of building this up. It's gonna be like a little sand hill dune thing. perfect because it's sand. It's everywhere, right? But yet I'm still playing with it. <laughs> I just don't want it to go over the edge of the side of the mold. beds I have are these they're supposed to be starfish that's what I was going for and I'm going to put them in the middle of each soap like this and I 
This is really, really slippery. Why are embeds always really slippery? Concentrating here really hard. <laughs> All right. I just want to make sure I find everyone up correctly here. Then I have these little seashells that I'm going to put down the side of each one. And a bunch of different ones. And these I don't care if they're lined up exactly. Because you know, seashells are always broken half the time when you find them anyway. I did find a sea dollar one time. One time I found a sea dollar. And that was in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. That was the coolest thing ever because our beaches, they don't really have the greatest shells. Um, and, and less there's different areas that I'm just not looking in. But Ocean City is not known for their beaches with shells. Half the time they're all broken or they're just nothing special. Yet, I still go and collect them. I'm the person who will walk up and down the beach the whole time looking for seashells. And then come home with a bag of them and not know what to do with them. Alright. So then I'm going to top this off with some sea salts that I've dusted in mica and I'm going to just make a mess all over the place here. Looks like sand. Super cool. And then just a little bit of glitter. Tierra a year ago came up with this design. I love it. Still do. Alright, I'm gonna let this sit probably about 24, 48 hours, depending on how life goes. And I will be back to cut it. Okay, so it has been 24 hours. It's still really soft. So I'm gonna try and be really, really careful when I cut this. I'm going to start just by trimming up the edge of this, like that. And then get going. It's really soft, it's like sticking to the bottom of my cutter. Alright, let's see what this looks like. I like it. It looks like waves. And sand. Just how I imagined it a year ago. So I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about Brambleberry before. I've bought some fragrances and different soap supplies from them. And they usually come out with a collection of fragrances 
like the modern floral collection that I had bought. They recently came out with a farmer's market collection, which I, I didn't buy. But I've seen a lot of soap makers who did buy them and all the creations that they have come out with. And I really wanted to smell them. So I thought I would pick a soap maker that, that did come out with that collection and buy their soaps. And Margaret over at Sweet Soft Skin took all four of those soaps and made different soaps. D scents! Took all four of those scents and made different soaps with them. And I really liked what she did. So I bought some. And she also has a channel if you want to check hers out. But I'm going to show you the soaps that I got. So there was this one. This is her Raspberry Thyme. But I was really, really impressed with the raspberries on here because they just look so real. And that, that was a really cute sample that she sent me. The one that I was really interested in was her, this is like an avocado soap. She used a real avocado in there. And I love this bar, especially this part of it. Like it just reminds me of avocado, like guacamole with a little seed in it. And then there was this guy. I think he's like a cucumber. I don't remember the exact names of the scents. They were like cucumber, avocado, there was a raspberry one, and then there was a blueberry thyme one, which I have a sample of, so I didn't buy that one. But I think her soaps are just so cute. And the scents are pretty, they're pretty decent. I don't think they're really my type. They are very green, the two bars that I bought, and I will definitely use them. Just wanted to share that with you guys, give her a little shout out. You can check out her channel. And then I get to tell you guys about my day yesterday. So when I made this soap, the plan was to meet up with a couple, um, a friend couple of ours that we usually like to hang out on Sundays with. And we were going to go to the Walters Art Museum and we were going to go downtown and get some ramen. And we didn't get very far because we got into a car accident. <clears throat> so that was our Sunday. It was a little rainy, what's new? And a woman pulled out into traffic in front of us and her, tar her, her car's totaled. Um, Eric, our friend Eric is the one that was driving and we were in the back seat and his car was not drivable. We don't know yet if it's totaled. But that makes for an interesting story, you know, nothing uneventful on a Sunday, that's for sure. We've had a rough weekend between a wedding that we didn't get home till 2 o'clock in the morning for to a car accident. I just have a little bit of whiplash, but everyone was okay. Everyone survived. Anyway, so last cut and... Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, you can leave them in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching so much. I will leave the release for the soap down below if you want to buy it. So look down there for the link. And until next time, smell you later.